in this video i will make this simple 2d drawing and we'll use mostly polar array tool for making this drawing so let's start with a base circle and for that i'll go to the circle tool click in the drawing area and make a circle with radius of 10 units and press enter and you may need to zoom in or zoom out depending upon the current scale of your drawing in this case i need to zoom in now press enter again to repeat the circle tool and go to the center of the existing circle and enter a radius of 7 units press enter now press enter to repeat it once again and go to the same center and this time enter a radius of 5 units press enter now press enter once again and go to the same center make a circle with radius of 3 units and then make another circle with a radius of 2 units so now we have lots of circles here we will now add details to the drawing and for that we need to first make a line so go to this line tool and click on the center and now make a line inclined to an angle of 60 degrees so type this angle sign then type 60 and press enter and here we have it the angle inclined to an angle of 60 degrees now click anywhere outside the last circle and make a mirror image of this line so select this line go to the mirror tool click on the center and click vertically upwards and then press enter and here we have it the mirror image now once again go to the circle tool and select this two point circle now click at this first intersection point of the second circle from outside and then on this end point or the intersection point now press enter or you can select this two point circle once again and click on this intersection point and this intersection point now we need to remove some of the lines and geometries which are not required so i'll select these two lines and i'll simply remove them now select the trim tool press enter and now trim these lines these are no longer required and also remove these two now press enter now go to the circle tool and select this center radius circle and click on the quadrant so if you are not able to see this quadrant then go to this object snap and select this quadrant option now go to the quadrant and make a circle with radius of 1.6 units and press enter and now we will trim some of the geometries from this circle so i'll go to this trim tool press enter and trim this portion now we'll make multiple copies of this geometry and for that i'll go to this polar array tool now select it select the geometry press enter now go to the center and now in number of items enter 12 and press enter and make sure this associative option is unchecked and then close the array okay now we need to trim some extra geometry so i'll go to the trim tool press enter and now trim these geometries from the outer circle okay now it's done so now we'll add other details to the drawing and for that once again go to the line tool and click on the center of the circle and make a line which is inclined to an angle of 30 degrees so type this angle sign then type 30 and press enter and here we have it the required line now make another line and this time it should be inclined to an angle of 40 degrees so type angle sign 40 and press enter and here we have it now inclined to an angle of 40 degrees now click anywhere outside the last circle and once again we'll trim some of the extra geometries for that i'll go to this trim tool press enter and now trim these two lines and also these two lines and now remove these two segments here and select both of these segments and now we'll make an array so go to this polar array select the center and now in number of items enter three and press enter or tab key and once again make sure this associative option is unchecked and click on this close array now go to the trim tool press enter and trim these portions of the geometry now we need to add the final detail to the drawing and for that go to the circle tool and go to the same center and make a circle with radius of six units press enter now go to the circle tool again and click on this quadrant and make a circle with radius of one unit press enter and now once again go to the polar array select the circle press enter go to the center point and now in number of items once again enter 12 and here also make sure associative option is unchecked and then close array now once again we need to remove some of the extra circles so select all of these circles carefully and these are not required 
and remove them. We also don't need this circle, so remove it. And here we have it, the final geometry as per our requirement.